My name is David Palumbo Liu. I'm in Comparative Studies in Race and Ethnicity and also Comparative Literature. And I've been teaching for 25 years. I was having lunch over at, at Olive's, and a colleague of mine who I've known for 20 years came up and said, he patted me on the shoulder and said, David, I know why I'm obsessed about Jews, but why are you? Of course, he's a Jewish scholar. And so this notion that there are certain topics that certain people are entitled to talk about and others can't talk about, or they risk a kind of uh, credibility if they do so, um, sort of pricked my conscience and got me interested in why is it that we can't talk about this one thing? It was almost like uh, an enticement, uh, but it was also something that was ethically problematic to me. You know, why can't we talk about this? Why are we told that it's divisive? And talking about divisive things um, it makes it taboo. To me, you know, it's already divisive. The world is divided, let's face it, right? And we have a kind of veneer of harmony that we place over it for the sake of getting on with our daily lives. And we have to work past that and through that to get at, at a sense of what our common cause might be. And if there are differences, then to understand what drives those differences. Um, I think a large part of activism is about education. One of the things that Stanford is great at, uh, and I think is very much within the parameters of how activism can take place in the classroom, is its commitment to community-engaged learning. And I've done a lot of that. And I think that that's ways that we combine classroom education with work in the community, which is a kind of activism, which is a very important kind of activism. And so in some ways, what students are doing there is uh, parallel to what I'm doing as a professor. In other words, taking knowledge, communication skills, analytical skills, critical skills, um, and applying it to work in community organizations. And so I think in that way, we see activism in the classroom working in a very um, vibrant and important way. But I think that what students are now trying to feel out is what are the permissible parameters of that kind of engagement. For example, you know, blockading the bridge in San Mateo. Uh, what's the tradition of nonviolent civil disobedience that Stanford, if not, may not endorse it, but will accommodate? So I think these are really important issues for us to look at, and already several faculty and students in the Haas Center have been involved in trying to draw the parameters around what, what we can actually do uh, to encourage students to be active and activists and yet, you know, what the bounds of that kind of uh, action can be. It used to be that students would come up to me and say, well, you were lucky you lived during the Vietnam War. I never thought of it that way. But they, what they were trying to get at and asking the question is, well, you had an issue to, to, to um, constellate around. But I think you all have a number of issues that are, are, are of extreme urgency, and I wish you the best. <laughs>